So today we are finding the volume of pyramids and cones. Now here's a pyramid. Notice it has base down at the bottom and all of the edges come to a pointy tip right at the top. All right. Similarly for a cone, a cone has a circular base and again the edges all come to a point right at the top. All right. Now to find the volume of a pyramid and a cone, it helps to think about the volumes of a prism and a cylinder because there's a relationship between a prism and a pyramid and a cylinder and a cone. All right, so let's talk about the prism and pyramid first. If you're going to find the volume of a prism, you would take the area of the base and multiply it by the height. All right, so area of the base times the height. Turns out there's a relationship between the volume of a prism and a pyramid. It takes three pyramids to equal the volume of one prism. So in other words, if you have a prism's volume, take one third of it and you get the volume of a pyramid. Or in other words, we can take the volume of a prism, area of the base times the height, and either multiply it by one third, or you can think of it as divide by three. It's the same thing. All right, so there's your formula for the volume of a pyramid. You take the area of the base, in, case, in this case it's right here, multiply it by the height, and that would get you the volume of a prism with the exact same dimensions, but because this is a pyramid, multiply it by one third, and now you have the volume of your pyramid. All right, similarly, cylinders and cones. To find the volume of a cylinder, we would do just like we did before, area of the base, and multiply it by the height of the cylinder. So area of the base times the height. Now, the relationship between a cylinder and a cone is exactly the same as the relationship between a prism and a pyramid. You see, it takes three cones to make one cylinder. So if we have the volume of a cylinder, multiply it by a third, and you get the volume of a cone. So there's the formula for the volume of a cone. We take the area of the base, multiply it by the height, and then multiply it by a third, or divide by three, however you want to think about it, and then you get the volume of the cone. Okay? So you see why I say it's nice to relate things back to the prism and the cylinder, because if you can find the volume of the prism or cylinder, all you have to do is divide it by three, then you get the volume of a pyramid and a cone. Okay, let's do a couple examples so you can see this in action. All right, so example one, we've got a, we got a pyramid here. Notice the base is a 12 by 12 square. So if we want the volume of this, we're going to start by finding the area of the base, which is a 12 by 12 square, so 12 times 12. And then we're going to multiply it by its height, and it tells us the height. The height from the very tip straight down to the bottom is 26. So I'm going to multiply it by 26. And then multiply by 1 third or divide by 3, however you want to say it. I'm going to put divide by 3 just so you can see both ways. All right? But this just becomes calculator work then. 12 times 12 times 26 divided by 3 on your calculator comes out to 1,248 centimeters cubed. All right? So like I was saying before, 12 times 12, area of the base, times the height, 26, would get you the volume of the prism with these dimensions. But because it's a pyramid, we have to do that one extra step. Divide by 3. All right. Let's do the cone now. So for the cone, the base of a cone is always a circle. So we'll start with the volume is equal to the area of the circle, pi times the radius squared, and then we're going to multiply it by the height. In this case, the height is 25. And that would get you the volume of a cylinder with those dimensions. But because this is a cone, we know it's a third of the volume of a cylinder. So we are going to either multiply by a third or divide by 3. All right. And I'm going to give two different answers for this because there's pi in it, and the answer is going to be irrational. So one way is I'm going to give my exact answer in terms of pi. So if I do 6 squared times 25 and divide by 3, I get 300. So I'm going to leave pi in there and go 300 times pi centimeters cubed. So there's my exact answer in terms of pi. 
And if I want, if I want an approximate answer, I just do 300 times whatever pi is. I'm going to use 3.14 in my calculator. I end up getting nine, about 942 centimeters cubed. All right. So this is my exact answer. There's my approximate answer. Okay. So the key to find the volume of pyramids and cones really is picturing prisms and cylinders because if you know how to find the volumes of these which you probably do already and if you don't I do have a video on how to do that but once you find the volume of these you just either multiply by a third or divide by three it means the same thing but just do that one extra step and then you have the volume of the pyramid and the cone okay so hopefully you found this video helpful if you did please hit that like button also subscribe because it really helps us out but with that being said good luck on your math and I will see you next time